What is up guys? This is the third part of the blog app. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk a bit about the Firebase rules and we are going to deploy our React app on Firebase hosting. Okay, now let's get started. So if you go to Firebase config, you can see the configuration, right? So if anyone get this configuration, they will be able to delete our data. Uh, they'll be able to edit. So it's not secure. So I'm going to prevent that. Uh, so I'm going to use Firebase security rules. Now go to Firebase, right, this one. So go to Firestore database, where our data is stored, right? And here you can see our data, our articles, right? So if you go to rules here, right, in the second tab, uh, you will see something like this, or else you will see like this, right? So it says uh, anyone can read, uh, that's mean anyone can view and anyone can create article, right? The second line says the older data will be shown from February 3rd, right? So in our case, everyone can read the articles, but you need to be a signed in user to create an article, right? As well as you can't delete all the data, right? So uh, you can delete your own article, but you can't delete others data, right? So I'm going to remove this just allowing read so the next thing i'm going to do is delete so allow delete to delete that the user should be signed in user as well as the document should be created by the signed in user right so i'm going to say if request dot auth dot uid which is user id which is equal to resource dot data dot user id this is the currently signed in users user id this is the documents user id right so the next thing is create only the signed in users can create post as well as only the signed in users can update the post in our case likes right so if you are signed in uh, you can like others post right it's kind of updating so here i'm going to say allow create uh, as well as update so you need to be uh, signed in so if request auth dot uid that shouldn't be a null right so not null right just publish this right the rule is updated now so the next thing is we are going to host this app right let's go to this uh, project setting right just click this icon so here i got the project setting so uh, here i'm going to change the environment type so here i'm going to change it it's going to be production right save it so now let's host our app so go to hosting here get started first of all we need to install firebase cli just copy this command um, now go to vs code open a new terminal just paste this and enter then log into firebase so firebase login okay i'm already logged in now we are going to initialize firebase so firebase init so i'm going to say yes then i'm going to select hosting configure files for firebase hosting and optionally set up github action deploys so i'm going to select that to select that just uh, press space bar then press enter so use an existing project enter then i'm going to select my app so project id is my article blah 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 so i'm going to select the third one so what do you want to use as your public directory i'm going to say build 
so configure single page app just set up automatic builds and deploys with github no so firebase initialization complete so now we are going to build our app so npm run build the final command is firebase deploy Okay, we have successfully deployed our app. So you can find our app in this URL. So just go, press control and click. Yes, it is deployed successfully. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just write down in the comment section. And please like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial.